Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Kimji. I'm so happy to be with you today. We have another wonderful art lesson. I hope you will enjoy it. I have two friends today, boys and girls. I brought Charlie, but you know he's always happy to be here. And I brought Pinky, and she wanted to be along on the ride today. So today, boys and girls, we are going to take a magical journey to the aquarium. Have you been to the aquarium before? I'm sure some of you have. So let's get started and take a deep dive down into the ocean. Today, we are taking a magical journey into the aquarium. And our learning goal is students will pretend to take a magical trip to the aquarium and discover different types of sea life and plant life that live in the mysteries of the sea. Students will draw different fish, plant life, and discover all the magic deep down in the ocean. Taking a magical journey into the aquarium. Here are some great questions to inspire the lesson about all the magnificent sea life and plant life in the ocean. We will be using white paper, a pencil. You have your crayons and your colored pencils and markers. And as you know, you can use one or all of these. So remember boys and girls, I am an artist. We are too. There's no mistakes in art. We're just having fun. So let's play. Okay, boys and girls, we are going to draw fish in our aquarium. And I have gone ahead and started drawing the ocean. So just take your pencil or your marker and go up and down, up and down, and then leave a space for our dolphin. When you draw the dolphin, you wanna go half circle, make the mouth come around and a straight line Come around for the bottom of the mouth. Come around this way. Make his fin. And then swoop around for the tail, which goes up and down, up and down. And back around and up. And you have your dolphin. You know, the dolphin is a very interesting fish. He has a blowhole right at the top of his head, so we need to put that right here. And he can hold his breath underwater. He can actually sleep on one side of his body where he closes one eye while the other eye is open, watching out for any predators. And then the other side goes to sleep while his other eye stays awake. So let's just use our pencil to color in the dolphin. And if you have a gray crayon, you can use your crayon. Now, boys and girls, we are going to create our whale, a huge half circle. And remember, all fish bodies kind of come around and go up. And we're going to make the whale's tail by going around and up and back around. We're going to make the mouth of the whale just like that. Come under and then make his fin, his eye. And remember, he also breathes air just like we do. So we're just going to put some little lines above him because he is a mammal and he can stay underwater for two hours. He can hold his breath for two hours, boys and girls. We can only hold our breath for two minutes. You know how much we love jellyfish. The jellyfish is just a half circle. And then the tentacles are just long little squiggly lines. And did you know that the jellyfish is over a million years old? Let's put two jellyfish. The jellyfish is older than the dinosaur, boys and girls. They come in all kinds of colors. They don't have any brains or eyes, boys and girls, 
Their mouth is underneath the lionfish. Okay, the lionfish comes around and goes up and down. And then come around the other side and do the same. Just kind of like an oval shape. The lionfish has a tail that's very, very soft. The head of the lionfish above and below. And they call it a lionfish because it's very aggressive, boys and girls. And it has different lines right here on the body. All right, let's now draw the starfish. So a starfish has five points. And starfish usually are on rocks. So let's put a rock right underneath the starfish. Now we're going to draw the octopus. So we're going to make almost a circle and the octopus has eight legs, as you already know. So let's come around, go up, around, and back. And we're going to do that eight times. One more. And the octopus has suction cups. So we're just going to make little circles underneath the octopus legs. Okay? And they use those suction cups in order to catch their prey. And now we are going to make the crab. So the crab's body is shaped almost like a heart, but it doesn't go down in the middle. Put a line down the middle and the crab has eight legs also. So let's put two, three ovals and then a point. One, two, three, and then one here, and one here. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Now around the front, the claws are a little bit bigger and they come around and it kind of looks like Pac-Man. How funny is that? And little eyes right here. The crab is a crustacean fish. That means that the skeleton of the crab is on the outside of the body. And crabs love to eat algae and they lay at the bottom of the ocean so they can get all the goodies that fall down there. Or shrimp. So just make a point and a curve around a little tail, put a few little lines, and then the feet. All right, now we're going to draw the seahorse. So let's start by making a half circle, and then we'll make his long snout. And then we'll come around and go around for his tummy. And you know he has a curly tail. So just go around and up. And then he has some little beautiful shapes on his back and little tiny squares around his head and his eye. We can also put a few little tiny squares by his tail and then a few little lines on the body. Now the seahorse are very interesting because they use their snout to suck up their food and they know how to change colors and hide. So put some rocks, a couple more rocks at the bottom, one under the crab and maybe one on the shrimp. All right, and then we're going to draw some kelp. I just go squiggly line back and forth and we can go all the way to the top. I'm sure you've seen it in the aquarium. It's very healthy for the fish and it's part of the plankton life that sustains them. 
all right? So boys and girls, there's lots of plant life in the ocean. In fact, there are more plants in the ocean than on the earth. And one of them is called seagrass. And seagrass just goes around like an oval, just like that. And it also grows flowers. So let's put a couple of flowers in our seagrass. Now we are going to draw some seaweed. And we'll just put our seaweed over here. Good job. Let's put one over here. And now we are going to draw our blue tube. It serves as food in the ocean. So make us oval, come down and up, another oval and come down just like that. So just put some lines and little tiny leaves coming off of the plant. Now we know we're at the aquarium, so we're inside, but I think it's always nice to put a sunny day. So let's put a sunshine in the corner or wherever you want. And we won't put clouds because we are looking through the aquarium glass. And now we're going to color it in. You can use any colors you want, boys and girls. So boys and girls, the ocean is over 3 billion years old and it has been here the longest before there was any land. In fact, the land came out of the ocean and there is more plant life and animal life in the ocean than anywhere on the land. Isn't that exciting? Just think of all the life that is living in the ocean. That's why, boys and girls, we have to take care of our oceans. We can't throw plastic bottles in the ocean because it will harm the fish. So do your best to take care of our planet. Okay, for the last part of our aquarium, we are going to put the water in the background because you know how Ms. Kenji always says, we have to turn the white paper into a masterpiece. So just get your crayon and go back and forth all around behind the fish, all the way down and across. Make sure you go all the way to the end of the paper and do the same thing on this side. Okay. Oh, I forgot to color my little rock right here in the corner. Just add that in. All right. Now at the top, we can just put yellow. So get your yellow and make it a beautiful yellow at the top of your aquarium. We can pretend like this when we're looking outside. All right, isn't that beautiful, boys and girls? Well, boys and girls, wasn't that exciting? We got to visit the aquarium and see the magic that is in the ocean. There is so much plant and sea life there. We must learn to take care of our planet. I know you will do your best to take care of the planet. Charlie and Pinky had a wonderful time today. I hope you did too. In the meantime, I am an artist. We are too. Take care, boys and girls, and Miss Kinji will see you next time.